This is the audio player WTV020-SD. It says Mini on there, and I was kind of misled. I thought it meant it had used a Mini SD. It uses a Micro SD. I messed with it for a couple hours. It somewhere, some places it said it would play WAV files, but had to be less than 16 kilohertz. Finally I just got the little uh, program to convert the convert the files to 84 format. And this Arduino is just running a, a, a sketch, it's a loop, where it's actually calling the files by name, which is pretty handy. You have to name the files a specific thing, 0000, 0000, 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 3, um, and you can have 512 music files. So you can hear it, it can actually drive a speaker fairly well from just from the little chip. Okay, so I've got all my uh, audio files that I'm going to play. I have this key over here so I can remember what they are. Um, there's a thing called uh, 40 Somo Tool. Um, I'll uh, provide a download link on my website. And I'm gonna find these files. Go ahead and grab them all and tell it to encode them. We go over here. There they are. All right, so here's my SD. This particular um, audio player can only play, uh, I think you can get 512 files in here. Um, and I had a lot of trouble until I found I had a one gigabyte SD card that was using the FAT file system. So I would suggest trying that. Um, my FAT16s and NTFS cards didn't work. So. I bought a uh, external speakers for uh, iPod or something, tore it all apart, and this is a amplifier, and these aren't the speakers that came with it, those speakers actually got destroyed. But there are lots of other options, you could use, um, initially I built an amplifier out of this, it's a LM386 in, this is a little amplifier chip. Now it worked great on the breadboard, but when I jammed it in with in that space, uh, whenever the Arduino was running, it it had a real nasty whine to it. So these are kind of old old technology here. So you can get uh, on eBay. You can get little uh, audio amplifiers that <clears throat> should work. Um, these guys pulled a little too much current in my opinion. Um, it's amazing how much current it pulls when you're when you're running uh, loud music um, or loud audio and it may have something to do with this little guy so anyway how this is wired up we've got negative on this bottom pin over here positive on the top pin we also have a resistor that goes around to this LED and from power and then that's pulled to ground by this this one um, speakers and we have four serial data lines so one two three four and these are the lines that control playback
These holes weren't put in the perfect spot, <coughs> especially this one, but anyway, it'll get me going for this prototype. <coughs> 